there's new information about babies born to women vaccinated against COVID-19 and a link between the virus and male fertility issues. Dr. Neha Pathik is a senior medical editor at WebMD and an internist and joins us this morning via Zoom. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So we know there was a recent study that is shedding more light on nursing moms in particular vaccinated against the virus. What is it revealing about the impact for the baby? Sure. So it's really such great and promising news. So the studies are showing that essentially when moms are vaccinated while they're pregnant, they are, number one, forming a really good antibody response in themselves. And the promising thing is that it looks like these antibodies are also being transmitted to the baby through the umbilical cord and also through breast milk. You know, it's interesting. I think that there is concern from what I am hearing um, from, uh, you know, moms or nursing moms who may be worried about the impact for whatever reason that the vaccine could have on the baby as the baby develops. Is there a reason to be concerned? So this is a great question. And I will tell you that I was pregnant during the pandemic, the early stages. I delivered my baby in May and have been having a lot, and I'm a nursing mom currently. And I had a lot of anxiety about getting COVID because we know that when you get COVID and you're pregnant, you have a higher risk for intensive care. You have a higher risk for being put on a ventilator and potentially having an early birth. So those are all things that actually put the baby at risk if you get an actual infection. What we see with the vaccine is that the all of the data, they've looked at thousands of pregnant women now, there is no increased risk for pregnancy complications that they're seeing compared to women that were not vaccinated, and that they're also seeing that the antibody response to the vaccine is just better compared to having an infection. Well, congratulations, by the way, on the birth of your baby. Uh, so Thank you. new research also shows an increased risk of contracting the virus among women who suffer from something called polycystic ovary syndrome. What is PCOS, uh, PCOS and, and do we know why women have it? So PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, is a constellation of symptoms. That basically means it's a bunch of different conditions that can come together. So women have um, higher risk for diabetes when they have PCOS. They have a higher risk for obesity and heart complications. And all of these things we know already put people that get COVID at higher risk for severe disease. So if you have PCOS and about 16% of women do have this condition, it can make it harder for you to get pregnant. Um, but then we're also concerned that if you get COVID, it can make your condition more serious and you're more, you may be more likely to have a more serious infection. Yeah, which is why it's so important certainly to talk to your doctor to make sure that you're doing everything you can to protect yourself, certainly from the virus. What about studies linking COVID to male infertility? So this is another great question. So what we know is that when you have a viral infection, the high fevers that come with it can potentially cause sperm to, to, lower, to be lower in quality during that period of the high fever. And we're seeing that in COVID. Um, what we don't know is how long that problem will last for men. So again, another reason to really make sure that you are vaccinated and protecting yourself against getting a COVID infection. Excellent information and advice. Great answers to the questions that we've been re receiving here at the station. Dr. Naha Pathik, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.